it will amaze you what are some of the most surprising gifts that you can give to someone and to the world today. If you have ever struggled to give more or on knowing how and what to give, then this video is exactly for you. When you hear the word giving in any context, what usually comes to your mind? If you are like me and if you've read the Bible verses like Proverbs the third chapter the 27th verse, you immediately think of money. Never walk away from someone who deserves help. Your hand is God's hand for that person. Don't tell your neighbor, maybe some other time or try me tomorrow when the money is right there in your pocket. That's in the book of Proverbs, the third chapter, the 27th and 28th verse, according to the message translation. Money may be one of the first things that comes to mind when people think of giving, but is that the only thing you can give? Are gifts and donations the only thing we can give? Don't get me wrong, this is not to say that there are no times when the giving that matters the most to someone or your church is not money, but is it really the only thing or the most important gift God is calling you to give right now? There are a lot of other things besides money that you can give. Sometimes there are more important needs that people have that have nothing to do with money. Some people are in need of healing. Some in need of encouragement or someone to believe in them and so much more. Because God loves us and knows what we need even before we are aware of it he is more interested in giving us what we need rather than what we think we need and god will meet people's needs through people like you and me this is why he will speak to your heart and prompt you to bless people in the ways they need the problem is sometimes we don't recognize the voice of god speaking to us or prompting us in this way because we have not learned to recognize it. We may hear give in our spirit and only hear money. I've come to tell you that there are other ways, sometimes more important ways you can be a blessing to the people around you. Whether it's your family, friends, church, community or company and so on. Let's dive right into it. The first way you can give more is to actually take the time to pay attention to what people need. Surprising, right? Many times we are so caught up in ourselves, in what's going on in our lives that we don't really spare any time to think of other people, even the people who are supposed to be closest to us. This is also why for some people it is easiest to give money. You don't have to think about it. Just buy that thing and forget about it. The truth is, there is no one size fits all for giving. And even though we will be talking about some specific gifts further in this video, one of the most powerful gifts you can give to the people around you is your attention and thoughtfulness. Because as you begin to pay attention and observe people, you begin to find out that they've been telling you what to give all along. The people around us usually tell us what they need, sometimes with words, sometimes with non-verbal cues like actions, signs, etc. But most of the time, we miss it because we are too busy with ourselves. Our problems, our needs and wants, our desires, it's always about us. Has your spouse been asking for your attention and they haven't been getting it? When your child begins to act up all of a sudden, do you take the time to find out what they are asking for with their actions or do you just assume that it's all childish behavior? Do you take the time to read the signs around you? In your church, have you noticed the need they have for a pianist or an usher? Do they have to rely on someone unreliable who holds everyone up while you are there and you already know how to play the piano or have a desire to learn? If you will pay attention to your spouse, you may discover that they've been asking you to speak a different love language than you've been speaking up until now. You may discover that your friend just needs a listening ear and not tones of advice about the issue they called you with. If you will simply pay more attention to the people around you, you'll begin to see that every day God is giving you more than enough opportunities to be a giver. Another one of the greatest gifts we can give to people is praise. It seems like such a simple thing and yet many times we often overlook it or forget about how important it is. When was the last time you praised your friend? 
when was the last time someone did something for you maybe at work and you not only thank them but also praised them when people do a good work around you in your community or at your church do you take the time to recognize the work that they put into it do you recognize the time energy and thoughtfulness that went into it or do you just take it as your due what you are owed what you deserve remember the bible verse in proverbs 3 verse 7 it says don't withhold good from people who deserve it do you withhold praise from people do you give praise to people who deserve it so what if someone hasn't done such a good work should you praise them knowing that it will be flattery because it's not true of course not the truth is there will always be something you can focus on there will be some good aspect that you can highlight it may not even be about the thing they did it may be their intention or their character but there will be something to praise if you find nothing to highlight and draw attention to the least you can give is your encouragement it is extremely easy for anyone to criticize someone and show that they are better and they do everything perfectly but another one of the greatest gifts you can give people is your understanding and empathy it is to put yourself in their shoes and to try to understand how they feel how you would feel if you were in the same situation jesus speaking to his disciples in matthew the 10th chapter the 8th verse says freely you have received freely give also and in first peter the fourth chapter the 10th verse we learn as each has received a gift use it to serve one another as good stewards of god's varied grace just as you have received the grace of god you can give grace to others you don't need to be wealthy to show grace you just need to remember that you too have received grace when people around you make mistakes when the brother or sister or even the pastor around you makes a mistake do you extend merciful hands of grace like god has done for you so many times or do you sit on the seat of judgment like you are God and become their judge, jury, and executioner? Do you, like the good Samaritan, help to pick them up and restore them to health? Or are you the one casting them down even more? There are so many ways we can give to the people around us. It can be as simple as speaking to the new person at work or at church who you can see feels isolated or left out. We have been called to live a life where we give constantly, not just on special occasions. I pray for you that as you begin to see the numerous giving opportunities around you and obey the call to give, may the rewards of giving begin to overflow in your life in Jesus' name. May it come in good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. May men give into your bosom in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.